Hey Bremer, Director of Stewardship with the Greenbelt, Essex County Greenbelt Association. And um, we've been working with Ospreys for a number of years and expanded our efforts in 2013 um, to include working with Rob to, on some of his research, which includes um, putting the transmitters on birds and tracking their migration. And All right, I am Rob Beauregard. And I'm going to be, we're going to be tagging one or two of the young ospreys in this nest today. We're going to walk out to the nest and put some fish in the nest. And then I have a trap that goes over the nest, which will tie down. The uh, trap is a bunch of little slip knots tied out of fishing line. So the ospreys ideally will come back. They'll see the fish in the nest. They want to come back and eat the fish. And they get their toes caught in the little nooses. And then we go back up the ladder, take the bird out of the trap, and then bring it back here and put the transmitter on it. You know, it's a better place to go. The, um, if you catch one here, it should be banded already. couple inches long wheels you'll see them. Mm -hmm. um, and the birds wear them like a little backpack mm -hmm. and they don't seem to cause any stress to the birds. They, the birds will migrate down South America, almost all of them. So we'll be able to follow them down as they migrate south and come back in the spring. The transmitters have a little GPS device in them. So every hour for about 12 hours a day they record, the device records where the bird is how high it is, how fast it's flying, what direction it's flying, and it stores up that data for three days, and then every three days we get a data dump by a satellite. So will be sitting here at 8, eight o'clock tonight when you're all long gone having mosquitoes, right? We'll come back with more yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bring the spray. Yeah. 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 Um, this is a property, and Ed, fresh my memory, was, I believe, acquired in the mid-70s by yeah. Greenbelt. Yeah. Um, probably at the time was one of Greenbelt's larger acquisition projects and again consists mostly of these marshes um, trustees of reservations property but we own pretty much to those dunes you see where that large house is with a pine tree to the left of it and then everything to the right out to the road which is the winger sheep beach road so if we went to the end of the road run now we hit another road at a perpendicular and that road runs all the way parallel to winger sheep beach or coffin beach as it's often called there were zero ospreys nesting in Essex County, and and to help things along, because they were nesting in other parts of the state, they, they thought we could use a couple of platforms in this area. 